Hello, this is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. We are going to be using Halloween Scene Background Cling from Hero Arts. This is Halloween card number two in my Halloween card series. Uh, this card doesn't exactly go as I was planning, and I didn't even plan that well. Uh, but you will see some of my trials along the way. So, uh, I have a black card base, and then I have just uh, the same size, but just a flat piece of black card stock, a uh, single layer of it. Um, so I had to switch my, this is my travel, Tim Holtz platform, travel size. Uh, but I need to stamp the whole background. I also did not, I'm going to be embossing with white embossing powder and clear ink. Uh, so I didn't do my embossing buddy first. So I, I need to center it. So I can't really put the magnet anywhere <laughs> to hold it down. Um, so I held it down to kind of lay it over it and then pick it up so that it would be centered. And then I'm just inking it up extra, extra, extra. I'm getting my sleeve ready because I'm going to use that to press. I may have pressed a little bit too hard. Um, so it might have squished a little bit. And there's also a spot in the very middle that did not stamp that I didn't plan for. So you'll see where that goes. Um, this is me trying not to get embossing powder all over my table because I somehow magically do that every time. You can see the part in the middle where it missed stamping, so that's fine. I think what I was originally gonna do was just emboss white and then have like a strip with a sentiment uh, also embossed white on another piece of black or maybe black ink on white uh, as a sentiment strip but I don't have the middle and I didn't necessarily want to put the sentiment in the middle so I had a handful of things running through my head um I'll talk about those while this is melting it's a big area to melt um I have a few trick-or-treat dyes from paper tray ink that are kind of old that may have covered up that middle part but that wasn't going to be good enough for me. So what I did was I kind of took a, um, took a clue from the pictures and I'm, I'm not going to edit this, so I'm not going to put the picture in here, but the picture example from hero arts own website about the stamp where it has like a white, it has, I think it's white embossed on black, like I did. And then it has like a white square, um, section of the same stamp cut out stamped in black, but like colored in with Copics or whatever coloring medium. So I have a stitched white circle and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to just get the center. I just wanted the middle so I knew it would cover that spot and also um, just match up. So this goes pretty terribly. Um, I'm not even using the platform for its purpose. I'm trying to center it because I can't figure out where the middle is um and then I, I moved it so it's like fuzzy and blurry and I thought that looked kind of cool but it looked too much like a mistake so I didn't go with it I cut a new circle and I was just trying to figure out where I could place it and I also didn't want to get black ink all over my platform so I put a piece of printer paper down and then I just I figured the stamp was in the middle so I just put it in the middle whatever I thought the middle was inked it up again and just stamped the circle and that turned out just fine. It's middle enough for me. Um, so that I think lined up okay. So I'm going to spend a good chunk of this video coloring this in because I have to get the grass too. And I kind of have an issue with that as well. So um, I'm looking up at my Copic chart. I didn't pre-plan these colors or anything like that. Uh, these two, I didn't pick off the Copic chart. These two oranges were just too close together. So the pumpkin looks like the same color. Um, I didn't pre-plan any colors. So I am just grabbing from my Copics in front of me, but I'm using my chart in front of me as well to kind of get an idea for um, color combinations and things like that. So uh, I'm kind of just picking random ones. I'm showing you which colors I'm using. But on my chart, my YG03 and my YG23, which is the one sitting next to it on my desk, are a darker and a much lighter green. But for some reason, my YG23 isn't actually 
lighter. These are almost identical colors. And so it's kind of frustrating because I'm sitting here using what I think is the darker shade and like shading around. And I was going to add this lighter chartreuse looking green per my chart. It looks just like YG13 on my chart. They almost match each other, but they end up being like the same color. And I just cannot for the life of me um, match or to get like a darker versus a lighter green. I probably could have gone darker on the darker green and then used this as a lighter green. Um, but it's fine. It ends up okay. Um, what I need to work on in my Copic coloring, I'm just kind of not afraid of, but maybe just hesitant. Uh, I just need to practice more on working on blending my greens with my yellows to get a green look. It doesn't have to look dark green and bright yellow. You can use your yellows, the yellows that are close to your greens to fade out your greens and have it still look green, if that makes sense. Um, so I could have gone for something more yellow if I wanted lighter than this green. Uh, or I could have just grabbed maybe the green that I used on the pumpkin leaf and made that my dark green and then done the lighter green around it. But anyway, it's been done. So we're past that. Um, so I'm just using some cool grays. Uh, I think that's my favorite gray group are the C's, the cool grays. Um, I do have to reference the bigger image. I just look at the the one that I white embossed because some of these images on the edge, I can't really tell what they are. Um, the one next to like the brick and fence to the left is like a skeleton in a casket. So I had to look over and find out what that was before I started coloring it in. And then I was just trying to make a bunch of different leaf combinations. Um, I have my brown, brown green leaf, which just looks like a caramel apple pop that you get on Halloween. And that sounds really good right now. But you can see the second green I'm using. I even, I tried to go to YG13 because I thought it would be even lighter. So I don't know what is up. Maybe it's because my Copic chart is up on my wall and it's under my lamps and it's just deceiving. But it looks much, much lighter than this other green that I used. And I don't know what happened. Um, I'm not seeing much of a difference at all between these. Um, but I'm just kind of smooshing in the color because I just want it filled in. And it is just graveyard grass after all. So it's just meant to be this pop of color in the middle of the black and the white embossing. So I did end up using the darker green on like the bush because I figured that was a bush. And then um, what I really ended up liking was this combination. I end up using R89, R59, which is a little too close to R89. And then I grabbed R39 to get kind of a brick red feel on the brick there. And there's a part towards the end where I just pause to finish up the coloring. I just finish up filling in the grass and the little pokers on the fence. I just colored them with like C7, I think. And I colored in the light post light yellow. Uh, and I think I put some C1 inside the bones just to give them some color other than white. So I finished coloring that off camera. Um, I will try to make sure I don't run out of film while I'm talking <laughs> because I have a really bad habit of doing that. So here I'm just trying to make sure I match up. I think my card panel is bigger than the card base. And so I started at the top corner and it was too long. So I just moved it up. Um, now I'm just adding foam tape and you will get to see my super weird method for just adding in tiny pieces of foam tape. Um, I'll just fill it in on the back. I was standing right here too. So the zooming is going in and out. Um, I just add pieces on the back and then I cut from the front if it's relatively easy. And then um, I'm going to peel off all the foam and, and match. I'm going to spend a little bit of time. This is sped up three times, three X, but I do stand up and like hover over it because for some reason I can't match everything up at the same time. But I think that ghost in the upper right was messing me up. So I stood up and stood over it and stuck it down. 
So then I'm going to pause for a moment, which I already did, to decide what and if I want to do a sentiment. Um, this video is going to end in about 30 seconds. So I'm just kind of showing you the book of stickers. I got this at Michael's along with another one. And I'm going to try and very quickly describe why I chose the Happy Haunting plain text over the Happy Halloween skeleton bones. It's because there's already skeleton bones in the picture and I don't want to overdo it. So I chose this as my sentiment. Not my favorite, but there you go. I will see you for another video shortly. Bye.